Welcome to your fourth and final fan requested Friday matchup of the week. Rich Gaspari versus Barry DeMay, 1988 Mr. Olympia. Rich Gaspari, of course, placed second here to Lee Haney. And Barry DeMay placed third. He landed in third just underneath of Rich Gaspari. And a lot of people say Barry DeMay was much better than Rich Gaspari. And the pitchers are very few and far between of this event of these two gentlemen. So a pitcher comparison was definitely impossible. Judging by this one here, I would say Barry DeMay. Structurally speaking, of course, much better. Look at the lags. He definitely has a better set. Conditioning is close. If anything, Barry DeMay has the edge. Here is the front lat spread. There is only one more comparison pitcher after this one. Again, guys, it's just a matter of the superior structure. Barry DeMay. I believe he may have been ripped off at this event, but it is definitely hard to say. We'll have a look at one, the one and only back shot, back pose, and look at that lower back of Barry DeMay. Is conditioning even a question anymore? Rich Gaspari, of course, known for one of the first bodybuilders to have striated glutes. But look at the glutes on Barry DeMay. And not to mention, guys, much more cut up in the hamstring department and that's just as important as the glutes of course but that lower back i can't get over that so anyway ladies and gentlemen like i said pitcher comparison is impossible there's only three pitchers so at this time we will have a little bit of a video comparison and it's of course going to be impossible to judge exactly conditioning here's the first pose Yes, Rich Gaspari, he crouches away like Arnold on Pumping Iron told the guy not to do. And the big guy comes right up with the pose. All right, front lat spread. I mean, come on, guys. It's again, it's, it's structure. But of course, we've seen those two poses. Let's get into the rest of them. Side positions here. What do we got? Side chest. What are you doing, Rich? Now, I'm deducting Rich right there. Look, he's not hitting the pose. He gives us a half a second of side chest. Oh, my soul. Look at that Christmas tree. Talk about conditioning edge. Flex those glutes all you want, Rich. Much more impressed with that Christmas trees, baby, please. Barry DeMay. I apologize for the footage here, guys. Lee Haney slips, slips in there. It is a bugger to get these video comparisons done. And Rich Gaspari looks good in the pose. But you got to think sizing may be off here as well, Barry DeMay. Oh, that Christmas tree. He's blasting Rich Gaspari out of the whatever. Of course, when they do hit the pose, Rich looks good and wide. But you got to think sizing was next to impossible to get here. I just can't get over that Christmas tree. Let's go over the second side pose. Well, you know I don't like the way Rich is hitting this. He's not hitting it. Again, he gives us a second of side tricep, but it does look good. Definitely comparable. But come on. No good at striking those poses. Here we have an ab and thigh. And I always like Rich Gaspari in this one. Not bad at all. But come on. You got to draw the line somewhere. Barry DeMay, guys. Whoever said that he was ripped off in this event, placing third. Should have placed second. Impressive. Both guys. But, in my opinion, Barry DeMay, he should have at least placed ahead of Rich Gaspari. I don't want to get into the whole politics of all the other gentlemen. Some NAB athletes course placed very low through the 80s because of politics i believe but anyway guys i'm not going to take this away from barry demay with that christmas tree unbelievable guys hope you enjoyed your fan requested friday lineup and look forward to next week's get your request in this one guys you'll see it next week hit thumbs up subscribe to the channel have a great day